early morning start. We've just left Drum Point, just outside Solomon's, and we are heading across to Onancock this morning, trying to beat some bad weather that's going to be around for the next couple of days. Seems like some other people have got the same idea as us. There's one over there, and there are three behind us over there. We just put our sails up. We've got 14 knots apparent wind. Me and Mike are down there, trying to keep warm. Hi, Micah! Hello! Got a nice lean on there, as you can see. We didn't see the sun come up, so it's nice and cloudy, unfortunately. Because there are other sailboats around, you know it's a race. The black one's pretty quick, so we might lose this race. And the race is still on. We're still in the lead, but just by a little bit. Those are cool dance moves. We're just coming down the river into Onancock. Onancock? Onancock. Onancock. Whatever it is. Something to do with a cock. We just dropped the anchor in Onancock. 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 Something like that. Not sure what it is. Nice small little town it looks like over there. We'll have to do some exploring. And this lake. After we anchor, we write down our log for the day. Today we did 54.2 miles, almost nine hours. And Heike immediately starts taking the boat out. So we pulled into the dock at Anancock today because the weather is supposed to be 20 gusting to 40 today and a little bit of tomorrow as well. So it's just started picking up now, blowing 18, 19 knots. We should be fine here, tucked into this little spot. Yeah. A little bit of flooding in the parking lot there. So everybody's told us we have to stop at Anancock. It's a sleepy little place from what we can see and it's kind of like a, a one horse town where the horse died a couple of years ago. One of those kind of places. Well, if you like quiet, sleepy places, then this is a cool spot. If you actually want to do something other than buy some food at a restaurant, you're a little bit sleepy. We just threw in some diesel and now we're leaving Onancock, headed across to Fishing Bay again near Deltaville. It's going to be some strong winds tonight again and possibly a lot of rain. There's some flash flood warnings. So we are heading out. Got six knots of apparent breeze. I have the sails up but we're still motoring. Keep up our speed. Nice and calm day. Not too many waves around. That's is doing some work. Mike is just mesmerized by the water back here. Hi. It's okay. So we're coming up to the entrance to get into Fishing Bay now. We haven't seen any boats all day. Now we get here, and there's five other boats with the same idea as us. We just dropped the hook in Fishing Bay. There's a couple of other sailboats around us. I think I counted ten on the way in and one powerboat. We got some strong winds coming tonight, and then tomorrow we'll probably move to the other side down there somewhere to get out of the southerly winds. And then the next day we can continue south, the winds change back to the north. This is Fishing Bay Harb Marina. It's a very nice little spot, nice pool there. We had fun hanging out with friends the last time we were here. Unfortunately, they are already making their way to the Bahamas now. So we are a bit behind the game. Jazzy's like, still like, working. With you can see her down there. Um, also want to shout out to Beth. So the wind and rain has arrived. It was really rolly all night long. 
blowing sustained twenties, gusting higher now. And lots and lots of rain. Got a very nice grocery run with our friends on Coconut Moonshine. Thank you, Alyssa and Rick. Thank you. Little man. Ready for a ride. Got some essentials there. Back to the boat before we head back to Coconut Moonshine for some oysters. And just like that, on a smooth, nice dinghy ride, you think all is well, and you come across a massive piece of wood, nails sticking out, and all kinds of things. So we will find a safe place to discard it. But... Find this spot right here, and it varies on everyone. Put your knife in there or shucker, wiggle it in. Oh, there it is. Watch your hand. Look for the pearl. <laughs> There you go. Whoa. Easy peasy. Yeah. <laughs> Helping daddy. Oh. There we go. It's easy at a time. <laughs> Scoop this one out. You can wash all the broken shell pieces off. Yeah, yours too. Yeah, because that means there's pearls in them. Yeah. Awesome. One way or the other, we're having oysters for dinner. So we're very excited about that. Mm. We got one. Is there a pearl in there? No. Oh. <laughs> oh. No, you don't need these. Are you sitting there for a minute? We need music for it. <laughs> <laughs> Original soundtrack by Man. <laughs> We just left Fishing Bay in Deltaville. We are heading to Hampton Roads today. About 45 miles, I believe. The wind is blowing 12 knots apparent at the moment, but we're still in here a little bit. I think it's supposed to be something like 10 to 20 out there, so hopefully it's not too much for us to handle. It's nice and cool and breezy. Sometimes you got to make do with what you got. Which for us today is a shower curtain that is going to keep us nice and warm and out of the wind. Because uh, if I'm being completely honest, this is not a good look. So this is Micah's hat <laughs> and he wants it back. And my ears are cold, right, sir? So for anybody interested in building a $1 enclosure for their boats, all you need is a Walmart shower curtain, a little bit of string to tie it on, use some of your fenders to keep it in place, and job done. We had a pleasant sail down and we decided to tie up at the docks in downtown Hampton for the night. Here Josie shows us how to back into a slip like a pro. So I just went outside with Micah to see the bottom, the bottom cleaners here, the diver. So I just carried Micah outside to say hi and give him the anode. And Micah left me a little bit of a surprise. Is your butt leaking again? Did you poop on daddy? Hey, this is Steve right with uh, East Coast Diving. Uh, I stove on this gentleman's boat right here. I do 
provide diving services from Virginia Beach all the way up to the northern neck of Urbana, anywhere in between. Uh, I dive all year round, so uh, my number is 757-254-7286. Thank you. We just pulled out of a slip in Hampton, and today we are heading down to uh, Hospital Point, Portsmouth kind of area. It was fairly warm and comfortable in Hampton, but now the sky has turned gray as we approach the gray line. All the military vessels tied up along this section. Heading down further down into the harbor there. Heading towards mile marker zero at the start of the ICW. And Josie's jumped in the dinghy and rushed off. She's got a work meeting that she's going to. That's Tidewater Marina right there. We are currently in the ICW. That red marker you can see back there, that is the start of the ICW. So we are officially in it by probably less than half a mile. Hi. Okay. Right? What are you saying? Hi. Hi, people. Thanks for watching. Join us next week as we continue heading south down the ICW in search of that warmer weather.